Humans have been grilling meats for centuries, and nothing says summer in modern times more than backyard barbecues. The word I always use is very elemental. It's just a part of humanity itself is cooking over fire. Especially in the Hmong culture where I come from, like grilling meats is kind of this like, you know, father to son, hand out father to son thing. We spoke with Chef Yia Bang, host of Outdoor Channel's Feral, and guest on Food Network's Stoked. And he offered up some tips for open flame grilling, which is done over charcoal or wood. Wow. Your job is to turn a frown upside down. First, he says the setup is crucial. You need to zone your grill by setting up areas of hot, mid, and low temperatures. I just take the coals and I literally just push it all the way to one side. So then one side where there is basically no coal, the middle part where it has a little bit of coals and the hottest part has that big heaping chunk of coals. What you're really cooking with is you're cooking with the ember. So we have this hot half here, you can totally see. Grab your steak, throw it on. That sound, that's like, that's the sound you want. He says it's also important to know your proteins. You wanna cook leaner meats like top sirloin on the high side. With fattier cuts like ribeye, embrace the heat. People are either very afraid of fire where it's like the heat's not high enough and then it's like, you're basically steaming it. You're not really doing anything to it. And secondly, they're thinking that the flame itself is cooking. But practically, it's actually the worst thing to do because what you're actually doing is you're burning your food. For chicken, you want to use the low end. But if you like some char, you can move it over to the high side for a minute to finish. He also recommends leaving the skin on. And the beauty of zoning is that you can control that blaze. If you start flaming up, calm down, take your tongue, grab it, and then move it to the cool side and let it sit there until your flames die down. Chef Feng's last tip might surprise you. If you're cooking for a large group, like throwing a backyard barbecue party, use your oven. Start your protein at a low temperature, and when the time is right, throw it on the hot side of the grill for that fast finishing sear. You get all those steaks right to temp, and then as people come in, I mean, if you want to do the stove stopper, then you get that grill hot, you throw it on there, and you're gonna get those flames, you're gonna get that sizzle. You're not having this mess of trying to host, going back and forth, back and forth, and then also trying to grill. We're getting fired up for grilling season with some tips from a pro.